There has been a great injustice done here. As soon as I saw the portrait of St. George and I realized the aristocratic status he had achieved and I heard the music and it sounded for all the world like Mozart or other people of that era, I actually was very angry. There is definitely a recurrent theme because Samuel Coleridge Taylor with his musical was a household name in uh, both Europe and the United States and Canada. By the early 50s, you could hardly find his name anywhere. I saw the neglect of black composers in education and on radio and TV as a personal civil rights issue, giving due recognition to the accomplishments of people of color, whether it's now or in the past. It's very much overdue. This has got to be shown to the world. Society has recently become more aware of the hidden figures that help humankind reach out and touch the face of another world. Now it's time for a similar awakening in classical music, an artistic endeavor that has fostered countless flights of human emotion and has connected humanity across centuries. It's time to recognize the incredible classical music contributed by artists of African descent and the struggles those artists have had to endure. It's time to include this music in history much more widely in education, in symphony performances, and in publishers' recordings. It's time to build up the promising start that advocates and music lovers made in the first 20 years of this millennium to ensure that this music and these artists, past, present, and future, are hidden no more.